site next to me so I can read to you guys of what description is so I have the ultra blotted lip in the shade doozy right there and then I have the so juicy plumping gloss in the shade princess cut yep and then I have the lippy balm in the shade passion pit it smells really good and I have the color pop lippy scrub in the shade by the bushel so I'm going to test these all out and I'm going to put up the website and let's just get into testing them. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to be testing out is the Also Blotted Lip in the shade Doozy. So I have the website next to me. Um, so it just says that this is the best seller by the way. So one of the best sellers. And it is now it now retails for $7. But when I got it, um, all the products were on sale for 40% off. So I got it for $4.20 I'm pretty sure. So yeah, um, it says that for that soft, diffused, just blotted look, our medium covers liquid lipsticks, dries matte, doesn't budge, and feels soft and comfy, comfy on the lips. And then it says this warm rose is outstanding and one of a kind. So yeah, I have this here, and I don't know. I'm going to try to insert a picture of what it looks like on the website, um, of what uh, they're showing on the website. So it just like shows like a swatch and the actual lip stick. So yeah, I'm just going to unpackage this and see what it looks like. So it looks pretty nice. Um, it does look, it looks pretty similar to the picture on the website. I'll put the picture here if I could find it. But if I can't find it, then it's okay. I'll just <laughs> okay. So I have it here. This is in the shade Doozy, so you can't really see that. But I'm just gonna try it on this. And ColourPop is actually like a really affordable makeup brand. So if you guys are like wanting something affordable, you can go there. So I'm just gonna. Right on. I'm gonna look at the mirror up here, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just put it on. Um, you can't really tell. I'm gonna grab my little light. So, um, I have a little light here, so so you can see both sides of my face. But like, I kind of missed a spot there, but it's actually. It's actually pretty nice. It doesn't feel like like weird. Like it feels like it's just like soft and you just have like basically nothing on your lips. It just feels like it's there. It it does it feels and does what it says, but let's try let's see if it like comes off so. Mm -hmm. Didn't really come off at all. You guys can tell. I think really came off, so that's actually nice. And I, when I ordered all four of these, they came in a week, like exactly a week. And yeah, they came in exactly a week, and they were actually they came in good condition, so that's good. So I'm gonna go take this off really quickly, and let's just see if it comes off good or it takes a while. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I'm back, and I came with a little wipe here, and I'm just gonna try to take it off. So. Okay, some came off, but not fully. Okay, it's being a little rough. It's coming off a bit, but it pretty much stayed on there. And by looking at the other shades, it seems like these are all like pretty much wearable, like for every day. But it depends on what you're wearing. Like 
that was kind of gross. I can like taste it. Not that. Okay, so I got it off. Now my lips kind of burning. They're rubbing on them. So we're just gonna put that there. Oh my god, I need some balm after that. So now we're gonna check out the lippy balm. And guys, I actually really like this. So make sure you guys go and check it out. And check out the other shades too, um, because I only have one. So yeah, and comment down below if you want to see me do a full day wear test to see how long this lasts. So let's just get on to the lippy balm. Okay guys, so basically the balms and the scrubs go together, but um, I wanted to get a matching by the bushel with the scrub, but it was out of stock, so I just got the Passion Pit. But the Passion Pit doesn't have a partner, so I couldn't get another uh, matching thing. So I, if I did, if the by the bushel was in stock, I would have got um, the bear. But I didn't really like any other of the bombs, so I just got this one because this one was my favorite out of the ones that were in stock. So, yeah. I'm just going to check this out. It says, who can say no to soft, smooth, nourished lips, packed with essential vitamins and moisturizing shea butter. The lippy balm instantly makes your lips kissably soft. Cool. That doesn't really help me, but... Alright, guys, so... That, that's this. This is what they talk about. Um, yeah, I don't really want to. Yeah, so you can check it out on the site. And it's actually really nice. It says that it's a sheer red balm and it smells like a jar of passion fruit jam. So it actually does. I did smell it and it does smell pretty much like the juice. I don't know if you guys know the Goya juice. I'll put a picture if I can find one. But it smells like that. So. Let's just try it because my lips are hurting. So, I'm just going to try it out. And there is a few pictures of it, of how it looks on different skin tones. And just like a swatch of it. Um, I'll try to enter pictures of it, of what it looks like on the site. But, if I can't find the picture, sorry. Okay, got it here. It's just like, like a little regular thing. So, I'm just going to take some out there. Okay, came out. Oh my god, it really smells like the juice. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze them out and then put it on. Okay guys, so it's actually not bad. I mean I'm trying to show you guys, but like, like it's not bad. It's just like it kind of looks clear but like just with like a hint of like pink or something. So yeah. I mean, it feels like a regular, well, it's not really, it doesn't really feel like a regular one, but it feels like nice, like, mm, like I just have this on my lips and then forget about it when it comes off, but like, yeah, it's actually nice. It kind of made my lips feel better after wiping them up so much, but yeah, I actually like this, go check this out also on the site, and yeah, let's just get into the pumping gloss. I actually do recommend both things so far. So that's good. Let's just get into this. Okay, guys. So we're on to Princess Cut. And it has five stars with 202 reviews. So that's crazy. And guess what? I got this just in time because it's sold out now. But, like, um, guys, I know my lips are already pretty big. But I just wanted a clear gloss. Princess Cut is a clear gloss. I just wanted a clear gloss. Um, so, yeah. And by the way... If you really want a plumping gloss, this isn't it for you because this doesn't really plump your lips. But let me read the description. It says your lips but bigger. This hydrating plumping lip gloss creates further looking lips with the ultimate glassy high shine finish. It's crystal clear. So yeah, I give it, I don't give it the plumping part. It doesn't really plump your lips. It just feels like peppermint, but it doesn't really hurt or anything. It's just like, oh, that feels nice. Like, it's nothing crazy. And I, I, not, not for me, but maybe for people who are with smaller lips, it'll probably do something, but it didn't do anything for me. Or, like, it didn't even feel like my lips got bigger. Um, but it does, I would say, feels, I don't really know. I forgot how it feels. I don't feel it. I felt tight, but 
Let's just open it up. And by the way, guys, let me show you something. This is the only one I kind of was upset about. So look, it is pretty clear actually, but I got it in the mail like that. Like it, it looks like it's half, not more than half empty. So I don't know. It came like that. I barely used any. I just used it to test it out how I felt, just in case if everything was okay. And then boom, it comes like that. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but and it also the um little like like lip thing it kind of got a little yellow but I, I think that's just my fault but let's just test it out so it is pretty clear um let's just see took some out yeah there is like barely any in here i might order another one when they get back honestly okay so like immediately once you put it on it feels like like, I mean, it smells, like, nice, like, peppermint, if you guys like that. But, yeah. It doesn't really, you know, for me, it doesn't really plump, but, um, don't take my word for it. Just maybe go to reviews with people who have, like, a little bit more smaller lips, smaller lips than I do. Because I don't have small lips, so. I actually do like it, though, like... I actually do like it though. It's not really too like really really shiny, but it's like shiny. Like I like the way like the peppermint feel. So yeah. I'll insert pictures of every product um next to me if I can find any. So yeah, I actually do recommend this, um, they're actually pretty nice, but I got it really just in time because it sold out, and I feel like it sold out because it's a clear, it's clear, so, it's not really like a regular gloss, but it's clear, so, yeah, um, okay, that's that, and let's move on to the scrub. Guys, I'm back, and one thing I do want to say about this is that it's hygienic, like, I didn't want it to get off. I might put it back on after the video because it actually feels really nice. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys to my bathroom to do the scrub. But before that, I'm gonna read you guys the description and all that. Okay, so for the By the Bushel Lippy Scrub, it says that it's a gentle sugar lip scrub that exfoli exfoliates and conditions lip lips. Pucker up, so yeah. It says you'll want this light pink scrub by the pound. It smells like fresh farmers market strawberries. So actually pretty good. Um I wouldn't say it smells like strawberries so. though. Actually it smells like bubble gum to me. But now it's eight dollars. Remember, everything that is its price now isn't what I got it for. Um, because they were all put not percent off when I got them. So yeah, let's go to my bathroom so I won't make a mess in my room. Okay, so let's not talk about how my bathroom lighting is way better than my room lighting. Wait, I guess. Okay, anyway, so here is the scrub. I mean, it looks so much better than your, like, there's no... Okay, so let's just open this up. And by the way, everything came pretty secure in packaging. I don't know if this only bothers me, but I think in packaging, it was like tilted like this, kind of. And then that happened. And it, well, nothing's wrong with it. It's just like, it moved. And it freaking annoys me because I want everything to be, like, look full, you know? I don't know if that bothers me. I don't know if it bothers anybody else, but... Okay. When I smell this, it smells like... It smells so good, but I don't know if it smells like strawberry. It smells like kind of like bubblegum. Ah, it smells so good. It smells so good. Um, so it comes like sealed with this little cap thing that you see me take off. So I'm going to take a little bit off of there. And then just put it in my lips. So it doesn't really say how to put it on. 
So I'm just really gonna, you know, put them in. So, and, oh wow, this is a clean knife. I'm gonna rub it. I don't like doing that, but like at the same time, it's tempting because of the way it smells. And it's just like on your lips, like, you know. Because you can, if you guys didn't already know, which you probably do, you can eat these, like, you just not, not like just eat the whole thing, but like you can, if it's like in your mouth, you can eat it. But I like doing it, I mean, I don't like doing it, but I still do it because it's like already in my mouth. And it tastes, it tastes good, so. It tastes pretty good. Um, it tastes like bubble gum, like the way it smells. It tastes how it smells. So, yeah. Um, I really, cause there's like a razzle dazzle one and it's like purple, but I don't really care about the color. I just wanted to, I'm, I mean, I, I feel like I was going for pink because I feel like it just went with me, what I wanted. But I guess it really just matters on the, the, the like the flavor you want, I guess. But this one, I actually really wanted this one, and I got it. So I'm gonna wash this off and talk to you guys about it. It just looks like gloss on the camera a little bit, but now it's like off the place a little bit, as you can tell. All right, I'm gonna wash this off. Oh, I don't know. I just finished washing it off. I don't know if it's like the scrub or me trying all that stuff before the scrub. And that looks feels so nice. Do do do. You guys can see. Whoa, my lips feel really smooth and nice. So I'm gonna put on the balm and I'm gonna wrap this video up. So yeah, let's get into that. Alright, you can obviously tell that my um, bathroom light lighting is way better than my room's. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just try to like, eat, eat. Okay, anyway, this exfoliated, exfoliated and conditioned my lips very well and it feels really nice. I'm going to put some of this on since the lippies, the lippy balm bombs and those scrubs go together. I'm gonna put some balm on because I just feel like I need to. I don't know why they, that's why they put them together but like my lips feel nice like like if my lips are chapped I would do that. Like yeah if my lips had like a ring or something like I feel like everybody's had a ring before. Like when you look at your lips too much. Yeah that, that hurts. Alright I'm gonna put some on not too much because I don't want to ruin the way my lips feel. Uh, I did like wash it off. Okay, instead of if you don't have like water with you, you can just lick it off. But I wanted to wash it off more. It actually did both, so. Okay. Actually, good. I think you guys should check all these products out. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure buy the bushel probably means something that has to do with strawberries because all this is with strawberries. So. And one of the pictures have a strawberry on it. So I guess that's what that, what that means. Alright guys, that's that for this video. I definitely recommend everything. Um, so yeah, I hope I found the pictures, future me editing, anyway, yeah, that's this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and just remember, let me know if you want to see a wear test for this, and yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, which I don't think anybody does, so I don't know why they ask me to, but, I don't know. See you guys in my next one.